My name is Dr. Anthony Joshua. I'm one of the medical oncologists who works at St. Vincent's Hospital, Sydney. So precision medicine is using information about a patient's DNA and their proteins together with their environment to help prevent, diagnose and treat their disease. So it's learning a little bit more about the patient, their pre-existing conditions, as well as in the case of cancer, learning about the cancer, what's making the cancer grow, so we can understand how to turn the cancer off and how to prevent it growing, or how to shrink it, uh, ideally cure it, based on the patient, uh, their immune system, and their environment in which they live. There's a number of tests that we do to help understand how best to treat a patient or to diagnose a patient. So those tests can include blood tests, they can include a DNA test of the cancer to understand the engines inside the tumour that are making them grow, and it can also even rely on some very simple tests which are decades old looking at what's on the cancer to help to understand whether there's an immune system involved if the immune system is trying to attack or there's no immune system attack going on, all these things we take in consideration depending on the patient, their age, their other diseases and also um, their type of cancer. So it's all part of a very complicated matrix that we put together on an individualised basis for every patient. It does vary um, from condition to condition, from cancer to cancer. Increasingly, it's more and more part of our list of weapons that we use against cancer is to have a precise attack. Having said that, there are some cancers that we can cure with standard treatments. Now, some of those standard treatments may be chemotherapy, but at least we can get rid of the cancer. And some of those treatments are very effective, and these days the chemotherapy is much less toxic than it used to be. So that isn't exactly a precision medicine approach, but it's definitely a very effective approach. And they're the sort of discussions that we'll have with the patient when we see them to go through the advantages and disadvantages of every type of approach for dealing with their cancer. So the precision medicine approach uh, means that oncologists surgeons, radiation oncologists around the country are in some ways pausing for thought with every patient that they see and trying to come up with the best matrix of both tests and giving them the best prognostic information and giving them ultimately the best treatment and the best outcomes every time they see a patient. We've got almost every week new tests, new treatment approaches that we have to integrate into a patient's model of care. So decades ago, there would, you would see a doctor about your, your cancer and that was that. These days, um, when a new patient comes along with a concerning cancer, we meet together as a team and that team can include radiation doctors, medical oncologists, pathologists, specialists in DNA and genetics, and all these people come together to give a personalised opinion about what's best for that patient and what we're going to tell them.